Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Danny, and I'm here with another Zoo Phonics friend. Today I brought Miss Queenie Quail. Look at her. Isn't she just the cutest? She's got that little doodle on her head. She is here to teach us about the letter Q, which is such a cute letter. It looks just like an O because it's a big round circle, but the difference is the cute little Q has a tail on it, just like Queenie Quail has a tail. Do you see that? So as you can imagine, when we're making this letter, we're gonna make a big round line. Let me get my pen. Oh, my chair is so squeaky. Let me get my pen. And we're gonna start at the top and make a big round circle and we close it in, just like an O. But we're not done, we don't stop there. We've got to add a tail to the cue. Just like that. Ready? Let's try it again. Start at the top, all the way around, and add a tail. Now, if we don't have a pen, let's practice in the air. Start at the top, go all the way around, and add a tail. Now, the sound for cue is qua, qua, qua. The Q is usually followed by a U. So together, they make the qua, qua, qua sound. So the letter Q, to remember it, we're going to use our finger to make the same thing that Queenie Quail has on her head. Ready? So we're gonna say, Queenie Quail, letter Q says qua, qua, qua. So let's try our other hand. Queenie Quail, letter Q says qua, qua, qua. Good job. So I asked Queenie Quail and I said, what would you like to do today? And she said she wants to read a story about her best friend Quincy the Quail and the mysterious egg. And then we have a song to do with you, um, which I think you're really going to like. Ready? Quincy the quail and the mysterious egg. Quincy the quail and his mate, Kella, admire their new home. I can't wait for our eggs to hatch. Quella sits on the grassy nest. Hoo, 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 hoo. Quella shakes. What's that sound? It scares me. It's an owl. Let's sit still. Maybe he'll fly away. Quincy snuggles close to Quella. Quella shudders. I don't like owls. They have big claws. They might hurt our babies. Quincy stands tall. Don't worry. I'll protect you and our family. Wow, what a brave quail. All of a sudden, plunk, a large egg falls next to their home. What, sound, what should we do with it? Quella hugs her own eggs. Quincy puffs up his chest. I'll move it away from our nest. Quincy pushes the egg. It does not move. Quincy shoves the egg. It does not budge. Quincy jostles the egg. It does not shift. He climbs on top of the egg. It quivers and Quincy tips over backwards on the other side. He pops up and blows the top knot out of his eyes. Whoa, that didn't work. Quincy sits down to think, Quella, what would you do if one of our eggs rolled away from our nest? Quella responds, I would cry. We must keep this egg warm and help the baby hatch. Quincy covers it with his wing. Quincy and Quella take turns sitting on the six small eggs and wrapping their wings around the big egg. Oh, that's so kind. Then one day, Quincy and Quella hear, cheep, cheep, cheep. The chicks cut holes in the shells and up pop their heads. All the eggs hatch except one. The big mysterious egg lays still. Several days later, Quincy places his head against the large shell. It starts to vibrate. It trembles and shivers. Crack! Snap! Out pokes a ball of fur with a pointed beak. I wonder what that could be. 
It's a baby owl!" Quincy shouts. "Hoo hoo hoo hoo!" Quella looks up. What's that sound? An owl and his mate sit in the segarroo cactus. Don't be afraid. Mrs. Owl and I thank you for taking care of our egg. I hope we can return the favor some day. Aw, I'm so glad that Queenie Quail chose that story for you. All right, are you ready to learn a song? Okay, you're going to need your fingers for this. It goes like this. One little quail went out to play and met a quail. I uh, met a duck along the way. The little quail went to find a snack. <gasps> and the little duck went quack, quack, quack. Two little quails went out one day <clears throat> to play and met two ducks along the way. The two little quails went to get a snack and the two little ducks went quack, quack, quack. Good job. Ready? Three little quails went out to play and met three ducks along the way. The three quails went to get a snack and the three little ducks went quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Good job. Ready? Four little quails went out to play and met four ducks along the way. The four little quails went to get a snack and the four little ducks went quack, quack, quack. All right, last time, ready? Five little quails went out one day and met five ducks along the way. The five little quails went to find a snack and the five little ducks went quack, quack, quack. Awesome job. All right. So, we do have one more song to learn because like I said, the letter Q is usually followed by the letter U. And how I remember is her name, Queenie Quail. Well, she has a little finger play to do with, about queens. Okay, it goes like this. Hold up your five fingers. There were five queens on a quiet, on a quest to see who was the very best. The first queen went to take a test. Grab your thumb. The second queen said, I'll go out west. The third queen said, I'm climbing Mount Everest. The fourth queen made a beautiful vest. And the fifth queen said, I'll take a rest. Good night. Let's try that one more time. There were five queens on a quest to see who was the very best. The first queen went to take a test. The second queen said, I'll go out west. The third queen said, I'll climb Mount Everest. The fourth queen made a beautiful vest. And the fifth queen said, I'll just take a rest. Night, night. All right, boys and girls, awesome job. So let's practice our Queenie Quail. Get your little doo -doo 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 out. Ready? Queenie Quail, letter Q says qua, qua, qua. Awesome job today. See you next time.